Welcome back. It is a thirsty Thursday, and I am thirsting to hear something from Congressman Max Rose. As a constituent who lives in his district, although I didn't vote for him, I did support him and commend him for fighting for the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund to be extended. And I talked about on this show that I was very proud that he was my congressman. Today I'm not proud. I've called his office, I've called him, I've reached out to associates, I've called his press, his communications director, um, to no avail. I've emailed them, they sent me some bogus, you know, standard statement. Um, we want answers, and we're going to take matters into our own hands right now, and we're going to call his office in Washington and see if he'll get on the phone with us. Nico, can we get uh, Congressman Max Rose's office on the phone? We're going to call him right now live and see what happens, because I'm not giving up on this one. I want to know why he flip-flopped. Here we go. Let's try the office. Congressman Max Rose's office. Hey, good morning. How are you? My name is John Tobacco. I, uh, I'm a constituent of uh, Congressman Rose's. And I'm also a host of a show called Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. We're calling you live right now um, to find out if we can get a comment from the congressman on why he flipped his position since his last op-ed. Uh, well, sir, I can give you the information of our communications director if you'd like to follow up on that question. No, I know, but you gave that to me, or someone in one of the offices gave that to me this morning. I've reached out to him multiple times. And um, all they did is send me a standard press release, which is not acceptable. I'd like to know some answers. And um, if it's not your department, can you put me to someone in your department that I could speak to? Uh, well, he's actually not here, uh, our comms director. Who is he? He's, down, or he's up in the district. Uh, his name is Jonas. I can give you his email address if you don't have it already. Okay. Well, we're on live television, but um, can you give me the phone number for the, uh, for the Staten Island district? office maybe sure. i could reach him there do you know like sure. did you guys have a team meeting or anything like did anybody know what caused the congressman to change his position to be for impeachment now sir i'm just an intern uh but if you do want this information i think jonas is the one to ask so are you ready for the staten island phone number yeah sure let's uh this is congressman rose's constituent office in staten island that you're giving us the number for now is that right that's correct okay thank you yeah please go ahead 718-667-3313. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're an able intern, and uh, you're doing a great service to the congressman and the viewing public for joining us today. We're going to try the other office. Uh, Nico, let's try that other 718 number. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying here. All I want is some answers. We have a platform that's been more than fair to the congressman. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to have a drink. I may have a couple of drinks, but I am not giving up. Congressman Rose's office. Hey, good morning. Uh, this is John Tobacco. I tried uh, the office a little earlier today. I'm a constituent yes. of the congressman's, and um, mm -hmm. someone had given me the wrong email this morning for Jonas. I just called Washington, and they said that he's not there. He's in the Staten Island office. We're live on Newsmax TV, and um, we're trying to get a response from the congressman as to um, why he's changed his position on impeachment. Okay. Let me give you his work cell phone number, okay? Okay, yeah, that would be great. Sure. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. 202. 202. 407. 407. 2741. 2741. And this is Jonas Edwards Jenks. Jenks work mm -hmm. cell phone number that's correct he's not in the office today right he's not presently here at the he's office not there right now okay well i'll try his cell okay. phone number thanks for joining us on newsmax thank you for joining us for hour one we're going to continue to try to get someone who can answer a question on liquid lunch back for hour two with bill cortez right after this